Hello everyone, this is Liam from MindBuild77. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about and decoding the golden record. Now, if you don't know what this is, then I'll give a brief description for you. So back in 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1 into space. And on the satellite, they put on a golden plate that contained a bunch of symbols. And the idea behind this was that if alien life forms were to ever encounter this satellite Voyager 1, of course, this is if these aliens were intelligent, then they would be able to make out this golden plate. Or at least, that's what's intended. However, at first glance, you might be wondering what these symbols all mean. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And I'm going to go through it symbol by symbol. And also talk about the corresponding CD record. Looking at the golden record, one of the most prominent things that stands out are all the lines. What must they mean? Well, the answer is, is that this is a pulsar map, and it shows the location of our sun and the direction of 14 of its pulsars. So it's basically narrowing down the position of our solar system. It also gives binary code along each pulsar and gives the frequency. So it's giving even more information to these aliens but I'm not sure if these aliens would be able to know what this binary code means because that's an Earth language, but I'm not sure. Positioned directly above the pulsar map, we can see a side view of a record and stylus that has binary arithmetic below it to show that the record that corresponds with this golden plate has about one hour of playtime. However, like I said previously, binary is an Earth language, so there's no telling what an alien would make out from this. If you continue looking up, you'll find this circular looking disc. This is an overhead illustration of the record that shows the correct placement of the stylus. Binary arithmetic surrounds the record and explains that it should be played at 3.6 seconds per rotation. So what this is saying is how to use and play the disc which is also on board the Voyager 1 spacecraft. And before we move on, just so that you know, the disc is full of earth sounds, which I will get into in a later video. So now, if we look at the other side of the golden record, we see some other things. This diagram right here and the three below it explain the images on the record. The wavelengths right here illustrate how pictures are constructed of analog video signals, with more binary arithmetic showing that each scan lasts exactly 8 milliseconds. Now this is an image frame showing that each scan is vertical and each image contains 512 lines. And now this image is if the pictures are rendered correctly, the first image on the record should match this image right here. Again, assuming that the aliens would be able to figure all this out. Now this illustration shows the two lowest states of the hydrogen atom. Here, the vertical lines and dots show the spin movements of each atom's proton and electron. The connecting line and the numbers 1 show the transition from one state to another is used as the time scale for all the pictures and images on the cover as well as on the record. So looking back at this, I'm not really sure what aliens would make out from this, of course if aliens ever do see it. I think that the only one thing that would not be mistaken for anything else would be the location of our planet, but everything else I'm not sure if they would understand. Or maybe they will understand it all, but either way, it will take many tens of thousands of years, or never, for aliens to find this. Or at least that's what we think presently. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you guys will check out my next video. Bye guys.